Hello everyone, welcome to IMMEC. My name is Partho and I'll be uh, having your physics classes. So today we will uh, going through the chapter called current electricity, which is very important for your examination. Many questions come from this particular chapter. Uh, I have already divided uh, materials into their different segments according to their conductivity. For example, uh, good conductors, good conductors means mostly metals so metals are good conductors of electricity now we have insulators basically non metals okay there are some exceptions uh, graphite basically carbon carbon is a good conductor of electricity but that is also a non metal we also know about semiconductors like germanium, silicon. So they also do conduct electricity, but in lesser amount compared to good conductors, which is metal. Now, metals have a particular kind of thing for which it is able to conduct electricity in a very good amount that is called free electrons. So these free electrons, which are <clears throat> situated on the outer surface of a metal, so they are responsible for conduction of electricity to metals or good conductors. Now, what are these free electrons? Free electrons are the electrons on the outer shell of a metal atom. Let's say this is the nucleus. This is the outer shell where the electron is revolving the nucleus. Now, because of thermal energy, because of the temperature, because of the thermal agitation we called, these electrons get out of the outer shell of the metal and they come into the surface. But please remember, these electrons cannot escape the surface. So they roam around in different directions because of temperature. But whenever we apply certain amount of voltage or potential difference that we call, that is, one side is positive, other side is negative. Now we have the metal having free electrons. So these electrons will be forced to move towards the positive direction of the battery or positive pole of the battery. Now, because of this, net charge will flow from one direction to other direction. And we call that electricity. And the chapter is called current electricity. Now, metals are the good conductors. They have free electrons in them. So they would be able to conduct electricity in a particular direction whenever we apply potential difference. But insulators, having not that much amount of free electrons, though for temperature, certain amount of electrons always will be there. But they are not sufficient to conduct electricity in a proper direction. So insulators will not conduct electricity. Now, semiconductors are very interesting and important part of your syllabus. Semiconductors are those elements which, in general, <clears throat> have covalent bonds like this. But due to temperature, one of the electrons from this covalent bond, it come out. It comes out of the bond. And these electrons which are coming out of the bonds, they will start conducting elect electricity then. So uh, and just like metals, there are not that much number of free electrons available in semiconductors. But very uh, at, at a very uh, high temperature, uh, there would be sufficient number of electrons uh, from the semiconductors who come out from the bonds. Those will start conducting electricity. So this is the very beginning of current electricity. Now, we will see what is electric current. As you know, let's say this is our conductor having area A, and there are free electrons always present on the outer surface of the electrons uh, of the metal. Very sorry. Now, <clears throat> for metals, these free electrons at normal temperature they roam around in different directions with different different speeds. But when you apply a potential difference, we'll talk about that in later. 
So then these free electrons will start going towards the direction of positive pole of the battery. Now, if you consider an area A, let's say this area A, or any cross section, let's say Q amount of charge is passing through this cross section area in time T. So what is Q? Charge flowing. What is T? Time for those charges to cross that cross section. Then the current would be given by total charge divided by time. So total charge, when you divide total charge with time, you get electric current. Now, this electric current is independent of the shape of the cross section. I mean that, uh, let's say the cross section made by you like this. Someone has made the cross section like this. Someone has made a cross section like this. So the amount of charge flowing per unit time through any cross section of the conductor is independent of the shape of the cross section. So uh, if you have any cross section and you just calculate the amount of charge flowing through the, that cross section, you have the time of flow of charge, then you simply get the electric current I by dividing charge with current. Now we will get into the unit. So what is the unit of electric current? See, we have current, we have the definition as charge flowing per unit time through any cross section. So if as I means charge by time, so unit of charge you already know is Coulomb or C in capital. Unit of time, as you know, is second or S. So the unit of electric current would be given by Coulomb per second or Coulomb second inverse. Or we simply call it ampere. OK, now <clears throat> let us talk about resistance. Now, what is the resistance? Resistance is the property, property due to which a conductor opposes the flow of charge, flow of charges through it. Okay. So resistance is the property due to which a conductor opposes the flow of charge through it. We mean like, we mean to say that, let's say this is the conductor, uh, length is L, the area of cross section is A. Now electrons or the charge is flowing. Let's say Q amount of charge is flowing from uh, this to this direction, from positive to negative pole. Now, resistance is the property due to which a conductor opposes the flow of charges through it. So, as you know, there are free electrons in the metal itself due to temperature. Please remember, due to temperature, the electrons move in different different directions but when you apply but when you apply potential difference all electrons free electrons obviously will, will, will tend to move from negative terminal of the battery to the positive terminal now during this movement electrons will have collision So electrons would move in the same direction, just like in a passage where all passengers are trying to move in a unique uh, direction. So they will have collision with themselves, uh, with other persons also. So electrons suffer collision, and because of collision, they slow down. So these electrons, they slow down. And this slowing down indicates that the conductor has a certain amount of resistance. We already have seen that resistance is the property by uh, by virtue of which a conductor opposes the flow of current through it. 
Now, uh, we will get into the mathematical form of resistance, which you, you quite know that R equals to rho into L by A. So rho is the conductivity, sorry. Okay, now we already have seen the resistance is the property by which a conductor opposes the current through it. Now, next we will get into the topic that is mathematical form of resistance. Which you all know R equals rho into L by A, where L is the length of the conductor. You already know A is the area of the cross section of the conductor, and rho is called resistivity. And Registivity depends on material. We'll get into this. So, which material is uh, in the conductor will uh, determine the value of registivity. Uh, we will continue the topic in the next classes and we will get into the vast world of physics. And thanks for watching.